Excuse me. We've locked ourselves out of the room here. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, if you knew how many times a day I have to do this, don't worry about it. I just no. left my purse. Uh, here, oh, here. Thank here. you. Well, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Um, Look at this. This place is a mess. Donna. Edgar. Edgar. come barging in here like that your secretary was out what did you do to edgar randolph who don't pretend like you don't understand edgar randolph well i didn't do anything to him hell i hardly know the man you're a liar now just a minute ray the man is in dallas memorial hospital he tried to commit suicide today well i am sorry what's that got to do with me that's just what we want to find out well, I'll tell you what it's got to do with me. Nothing, nothing at all. I don't believe you. A week ago, I had a conversation with him. Your name came up, and so did the subject of blackmail. Now, wait just a minute. Let's get something straight. Edgar Randolph said that I was blackmailing him? No, not in so many words. I mean, he didn't just spell it all out exactly. He didn't have to. Well, what exactly did he say? Just like she said, the subject of blackmail came up, and so did your name. Knowing you, it wasn't too hard to make a connection. Oh, so this is just pure conjecture. You don't have shred of evidence. Well, I sure am glad the wheels of justice are not controlled by people like you. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not a court of law. And I don't need any concrete proof to know that you are directly involved in this. You just won't stop, will you, Donna? All right, let's examine this. If I was going to blackmail somebody, I'd have to have a pretty good reason, right? Oh, you got a damn good reason. What about those offshore oil leases? That's right. You know that Edgar receives the bids for them. Of course I do. But I'm not gonna bid on those tracks. Oh. Well, that's not exactly what we heard. We heard you and Bob have been out scouting the city for partners. Well, you got that part right, but we didn't find any. And I'm not about to let you and Law go it alone. Is that the truth? Well, why don't you ask Bobby? Of course we wanted in on those deals, but it's just too risky. So what reason would I have to blackmail your friend Randall? Well, maybe. I mean, just maybe. I owe you an apology. Yes, I think you do. And the next time you have a friend with personal problems in his life, get your facts straight before you blame me. Let's get out of here. Hello, Edgar. Thought I'd bring a little something to brighten up your room. What are you doing here? So you decided to take the easy way out, did you? I'm disappointed in you. I thought you were more intelligent than that. Actually, I would rather die than give you what you want. Well, that's easy enough for you to say, but what about your wife, your children? At least if I died, they wouldn't know about my past. Oh, sure they would. I'd break your story to the newspapers before you turn cold in the ground. Even then, you'd do that, huh? Well, naturally. So if you're thinking of repeating that booze and pills act, forget it. It's not going to do you any good. But why? What purpose would it serve? It would testify to the fact that J.R. Ewing always keeps his promises. You're not a human being. You're scum! Edgar, I know how you feel, but it's not going to change the way things are. Now, don't make it hard on yourself. I'm really a nice fellow when I get what I want. Oh, and by the way, don't you ever mention my name to Donna Krebs again, or you'll really regret that you didn't die today. <laughs> <laughs>